Carol ISD's school board president addressed the latest in a series of controversies plaguing the district. Hello and good evening everyone. I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. Her remarks were made at the start of a packed school board meeting tonight. Last week, a secret recording involving an administrator using the Holocaust as an example explained a new law launched the district back into the spotlight. The district's been battling controversy for years over racist videos and now delayed diversity program and a teacher being punished over a book in a classroom. Tonight, dozens of parents, students and teachers lined up to talk about it and Fox Force Peyton Yeager has our update tonight. Peyton. Yes, yeah, Steve, nothing was voted on tonight, but public comment was almost three hours. Students, teachers, parents, and some alumni took to the podium to offer their opinion on the latest controversy calling the district divisive. Dozens filed into the Carroll ISD school board meeting Monday evening, ready to speak just days after a Carroll ISD administrator was recorded suggesting to teachers if they have a book on the Holocaust, then they should offer a book with an opposing view. On the secret recording obtained by NBC News, the administrator identified as Gina Petty references HB 3979, a bill passed over the summer requiring Texas teachers to include multiple perspectives when discussing controversial Controversial social events in history and make sure that if, if, if you have a book on the Holocaust that you have one that has opposing that has other books. How do you oppose the what? Holocaust? What? What? Believe me that's come up. I do believe in grace and forgiveness. While some in attendance Monday night didn't necessarily agree with the example given, they took the time to praise the person who gave it. I do not believe she is racist or anti-Semitic. I feel that there must be more to the story or some sort of misunderstanding. Others called for the administrator to be fired. Being a descendant of Holocaust victims is completely unacceptable. I am ashamed and I am disgusted by what's going on here. Monday night, school board president Michelle Moore promised to work with teachers on clarifying this law, which takes effect in December. Together, we are identifying areas that we can continue to excel and those that need improvement. Unfortunately, this seems to be a real effort to politicize our educational system. President of Alliance American Federation of Teachers, Rena Honey, calls the law vague, causing stress and confusion among districts. You're talking about a law that's been put into place that calls for interpretation and it doesn't always have an opposing viewpoint. And they're trying to create that. Earlier this month, a South Lake teacher was reprimanded after having a book titled This Book is Anti-Racist in her classroom. At first, she wasn't reprimanded after a student brought it home, upsetting a parent. Parents appealed that decision and won. Monday night, some teachers say now they do not feel safe. I do not feel supported as a teacher and a professional. Please help restore my faith in this district. Controversy at Carroll ISD has been ongoing ever since a cultural diversity plan was delayed. It was developed after an offensive video involving students made headlines in 2018. Three years later, here you sit and nothing has been done. The media is going to keep coming until you keep your promise. The diversity plan was halted after parents alleged board members violated the Open Meetings Act while discussing it. In May, two board members won their seats campaigning against the drafted plan. Now some parents are questioning if South Lake will stay as their home. That's a shame and I think many of your constituents are in the same boat now. I checked with Carol ISD this evening. The administrator who was on that recording is still employed with the district.